In a surprise trip to Beijing, Elon Musk shared a joke with the Chinese premier, <laughs> President Xi Jinping's second in command, and praised China's push for electric vehicles in the world's largest car market to state TV. It's good to see electric vehicles making progress in China. The visit was a strategic one. Musk paving the way for Tesla to overcome regulatory hurdles to make his EVs more competitive here, sending Tesla stocks soaring. Beijing announced Tesla passed new Chinese data security rules, and the company secured a deal with Chinese AI giant Baidu on maps for Tesla's full self-driving system, a move meant to capitalize on China's drive to bring EVs online en masse. But Washington sees the market very differently. What we're focused on is practices engaged in by China uh, that are unfair and, un and undermine our businesses uh, and our workers. And this question of overcapacity is the one that is uh, front and center. That capacity is easy to see at the Beijing Auto Show. 278 electric models by brands you probably haven't heard of. The Seal 6 sedan by BYD, the Zeker Mix minivan. And the newest entrant isn't even an auto company. Chinese smartphone maker Xiaomi plans to deliver 100,000 of these cars by the end of the year. The problem isn't that the industry is big. China's critics say it's too big. Too many companies with too many factories spilling out products in global markets. Manufacturers here have the production lines to make almost twice as many cars they sell in China. There are 139 EV brands in this market alone. The local view is that this isn't a problem. That EV is still a small percentage of overall auto sales. So if you look at the fast-growing nature of this sector, I don't see actually overcapacity. In fact, we need to make sure we have good products and good capacity to fulfill the need of growing EV demand. And that also will help the green transition for Europe and for the U.S. The Chinese government is on a marketing campaign to dismiss the overcapacity concerns. For Musk's trip, state media argued his commitment proves the fears are hyped by the U.S. and its allies. At the car show, which Tesla skipped, China still presents opportunities. GM CEO Mary Barra showed up on a low-key visit after the Detroit giant launched four electric cars here. Michigan-based car expert Tu Li points out another byproduct of all the production, fierce competition. The challenges GM will face is the constant onslaught from every direction, you know, on, on the mass market side, on the premium market side, on the feature side, on the range side. China wants to dominate advanced technologies like EV and AI, and Musk is a leader in all of that. So from Beijing's perspective, Tesla is assisting China on its own path towards global tech supremacy. Tom? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.